Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Today we are going with Demon Blast, a fun cartoon styled uh, first person shooter inspired by early 90s first person shooters much in the same vein as Doom or Duke Nukem except it's more uh, cartoony I guess. I uh, just loaded this up. I don't know anything about the game. I don't know how to play it. Let's see if we can figure this out together. I guess we're going into the first steps. What a strange place, cold, spooky walls, and long corridors, but someone left notes here. So, I, as, as far as I know, the story right now is that you wake up and you're in this weird hell dimension and you've got to fight yourself. So yeah, so we move around with the mouse and then Wazdi to move. Okay, we got that, got, got it, got it, get it. Whoa, that's a little bit of, I don't know if I can handle that. Uh, hold this button to run. So I can hold that to run, okay. And then space to jump. So there is jumping in here. And that mouse, do I have a little bit of aiming sensitivity? Let's slow that down a little bit because whoa, I was getting a little bit of a, I like the art. I love the art, cartoony kind of art here. So let's see. It's still really fast. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's a little bit better. Okay, so what do we got? Run through weapons to gather it and then rotate the mouse will press one to seven to change your selected weapon. So there we go. So we got a pistol and a, a shotgun and I'm assuming, yeah, uh, clicking, right clicking is going to be a shooting. So we got pew, 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 and then a shotgun and if you we haven't done I don't think any first person style shooters so far so uh, definitely shotgun you should know is like my favorite so uh, definitely we're gonna be using the shotgun first in some rooms like this you can meet, meet monsters like this one sometimes floor is lava and you can't walk on lava. That's probably a good thing, but we can still shoot you, right? There we go. Look at that. I just splattered him all over the place. Woohoo! Okay, we got one coin. Uh, some doors are locked until all monsters in the room are dead. So let's go ahead and shoot him and shoot him. And then that door should open up for us. Sweet! I kind of like this little bit of a tutorial here. That's kind of nice. Some doors are locked until a key is found. So you got a key. This one showed a key at the bottom. The other one showed like a monster head at the bottom. So that kind of lets you know, come closer to the torch, put the crosshairs on it and press the button on the this button. So go up here, hit uh, E. Oh, I revealed a secret. Look at that key. That is amazing. I love the artwork in this game. Love the cartoon style. I love that it is still, uh, Doom was a very innovative game in a lot of ways, but it was uh, it was semi 3D with 2D sprites. So when you're looking at stuff, it's always facing you, and that's because it was a 2D sprite. There was no thickness or back end to it. It was always it was just that one flat sprite, and you could even see on the wall there's no thickness to that candle. It is a, another 2D sprite, and I love that they did that. That is very, very typical Doom kind of thing. Press this button on the keyboard to see the map. Oh, sweet. We get a map, too. Cool. Come closer to the sign, put the crosshairs, and press E on the keyboard to complete the level. Okay, so let's see what the map shows us. Okay, basics. Can I scroll? I can zoom in and out. Can I scroll? Ah, I can drag it as well. So it will show me the whole level if I want to as well. Awesome. Uh, I really do like the zooming in the Doom. You had a very zoomed. Everything was fit on the screen and it was really hard sometimes to see where you were and how to get because the, the map was so small. These walls are watching you. It was not necessary to kill the, de the first demon, but you did not spare him, although he was locked. His blood flowed into the gap between the stones, feeding the evil heart of this cursed place. You can not rid of a vague feeling 
that the walls left behind hide more than you thought but you must go for it there is something wrong with that sentence you cannot rid like yourself of a vague feeling or cannot yeah there's there's yeah something a little bit wrong with that sentence but this game is in early access on steam there will be a link in the description but it is very interesting and i also have to take a moment because i forgot at the beginning to thank the developer very much for allowing me to have a key so that i could show this off to you it's so far so good you hear a distant growl echoing in the hallways it seems that in the near future you will find many new acquaintances a warm welcome yeah a warm welcome all right oh we we'll go back to punching here that was a tutorial here's a good example of what i was talking about the little skull always faces me because no matter what I, I mean i'm over top of it it is a 2d sprite okay you'll meet interaction hits sometimes but feel free to explore env environment by yourself okay so we got a pistol maximum blaster ammo and maximum shotgun ammo okay so oh we can knock these down can we like break them oh look at that See, yeah, let's just break these down because we are not going to use our weapons on these. I hope I can come back to them and pick up these weapons because uh, that's a lot there. Let the game begin. You see an inscription written on the wall with something red. It seems to be blood. You more closely. The letters are written unevenly as if the one who wrote this had poor control over himself interesting a strange thought arises somewhere on the periphery of consciousness some kind of half forgotten dream or a memory that you could write this inscription interesting the more you look at these lines the more it begins to seem to you that they fold into someone's face definitely not human one fold into somebody's face face that's all kinds of creepy right there i gotta tell you creepy okay so let's go on um let's go up into the shotgun we get 25 we got fists and shotgun and blaster uh so that's one two and three it looks like yes um and i can come back in here and pick all this stuff up it looks like if i need it so i got any like I probably should be like looking for enemies he's walking towards me shoot him shoot him i love how it like breaks into pieces it's so funny oh that's ominous there has to be oh there's like a a force field right there that's interesting very interesting wonder if some kind of sconce or something will do something here does it appear but that's got to be something um can i break this it's just gonna give me more okay i got a coin i'm just wondering if well i had a critical hit there too that's kind of cool that is very ominous and i'm very curious as to what that holds so i did get some shotgun use some shotgun so let's go back pick up that ammo and be ready to go into what is next oh Oh, those guys look crazy. Kind of cool too. Let's. Oh, he shoots stuff at me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I was so not ready for that. Oh gosh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh no. So not gonna do that. Oh gosh, what is going on? I keep on hitting that. This is not. Wow, that was really, really bad. I did that really, really poorly. Um. I wonder if one shoots faster. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Maybe that'll slow them down. Ooh, that was kind of crazy there. I was not expecting. Oh, there we go. Well, I used all my ammo right there. So let's go ahead and run back. That ended quickly. Um, let's get some more blaster ammo here. I have the maximum shotgun ammo so there was yeah that was a definite advantage of that's weird okay shotgun ammo let's break the 
All right, let's go to fist. Can I break these with my fist? Because that would be kind of cool. It might take a little bit of time. There we go. Oh, I found a secret. What's in this one? I was doing damage to that one too. It looks like, yeah, I got maximum shotgun ammo. Okay. I'm a little worried, but let's see what we've got. Ooh, it's a different type of gun. What is that? A machine gun. Sweet. Okay, I love this. I got to say, this is an awesome game. <laughs> All right off the bat, this is too good. Um, I definitely, uh, you know, uh, very much feel the vibes of the old um, Doom, Duke Nukem, those style games in here. Um, and I love it absolutely love it and i love the cartoon effect as well the lines of this book are written very illegibly as if the author did not control himself at the time of writing however you manage to read part of the text for centuries hell worked flawlessly sinners flocked here from all over the world from all era eras but well-being corrupts and among the demon lords of hell, a struggle for power broke out. Absorbed in a long internal struggle, hell began to cope with its role worse. There's something wrong, I think, and to cope with its role worse. You cannot parse further text. Accept these truths, resist acceptance, accept these truths. I don't know how that matters, but uh, sure. So I'm curious what the map is going to look like. It looks like, yeah, so there's just a little portal off of here. It looks like to the other room. Okay, well, let's go back. I love that little uh, particle effect when I come out of the... Um, oh, the range on that is short. Oh, and varied. It, it's like not a very... Yeah, look at that. That's not a very good range there. Oh, I don't even think I hit him that time. Let's see if we can hit him this time. There we go. I'm not sure I like that machine gun. Oh gosh, that's moving. That's attacking me. Um, nope, two, I want two. Ah, there we go. What is this? That one says E on it. Let's see if we can do. Okay, fire stove. You look into the red hot furnace and it seems to you that there is something among the coals, but you cannot say for sure. Hey, let's put it, the hand in the stove. A sense of triumph help, help, helps down drown out the pain. With a smoking palm, you scoop out a handful of gold coins from the stove. Let's step away. How much did that hurt me? Ah, oh, not too bad. Um, can I hurt any of these other ones? I wonder if I could break any of these or any of these are secret passages or something oh you know what i'm gonna step away from all the stoves i'm not gonna put my hands in any more stoves oh what is this uh note it was a hard night again with those darn nightmares i really didn't rest today i won't go out someone else will have to heat the stoves fred can i take these that would be awesome that is absolutely hysterical some nice little reference of Nightmare on Elm Street there. Very good. I love it. Okay. Onward and upward, it looks like. Whoa. I wonder if the shotgun has a blast effect to it. Can I hurt two of these guys at once? These doors keeps on shutting on me. Not sure. I seem to be hurting, and they seem to be like clawing at the door or clawing at me. This works. I'm killing them. There we go. I got a medic pack there too, so that's good. There we go. We cleaned up there. I love the particle effects. I really do. Let's go and bust these, bust these with our hand. Ouch! Okay. Those are explosive. <laughs> we are not doing very good at this world, are we? Um, never professed myself to be very good at this game or these style of games but I think they're fun. So there, there is a big difference there. Uh, they are fun, but are also a little bit frustrating and difficult to deal with. We are not going to go put our hands in any more coals. Uh, let's see if we can blow up those 
I think that's how we killed him last time. I'm going to try to make sure that we get as much as we can here. We're going to be out of blaster ammo. Yep. I do not know if we need to oh, do this every time, but I did get the machine gun back. Um, not sure how much damage that's going to do to that pot or any at all. It didn't appear to do any damage. I want to know. Resist the acceptance of these truth. Oh, that almost looked like something crazy happened there, but maybe it was just me hitting the mouse. Okay, get some shotgun shells. Um, we're gonna have to go with the shotgun here. I think. Oh, oh, he throws stuff too. Shoot him in the back. There is a range. It looks like on the shotgun. The closer you are, the more damage it does. Ouch. There we go, which is kind of typical a little bit for shotgun. Shotgun does a lot of damage. You really shouldn't like um, knock a shotgun, but I gotta shoot aim up higher. There we go. There was something over here though. This one came to life. There we go, get me a medikit. And I believe we're not going to put our hand in the fire, but I do want to trigger this step away from the stove. Okay, I believe that's all that we were able to do back here. Oh, the note. I just want to. Yeah, I kind of want to uh, recoil. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, so what was in here that was like very devastating? Oh, all these guys. So you can see 107, 88. When I shoot and they're close to me. Ouch, I got hit there. Uh, it looks like it does a lot more damage the closer I am. I had another medikit in there, which is good. Here we go. Oh, wait, we're going to have to stand back. <laughs> Two, I'm out of blaster. Here we go. I remember that, that we can't. Should go all the way back to the beginning, maybe, and see if we can get some of that ammo again because you know, touch every one of these little are these no step away from the stove we are not putting our hands in any more stoves i'm getting enough damage as it is keep calm and don't shoot interesting that is a very very in oh 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 seller of the year can i talk to you merchant there is no trace of muscle tissue left on these bones and you could only guess what keeps them together and sets them emotion. For a while, the skull looks at you with empty eye sockets, after which a semblance of voice comes from its depths. Oh, another one. Yes, many of you kind appear here all the time. You? Yes, yes, you. Bleeding, screaming, terrified, living. What is this place? The merchant stares at you silently for some time, after which he hardly whispers another time um what else have you seen uh, you are all like few are remembered although i remember there was one guy in a tie and there was definitely one with a tattoo on his face okay let's trade sure so we got gritting bones the merchant shows was good so we can get some shotgun shells and let's go ahead we got a good bit of money i don't know what that really does okay does that like okay i am maxed out on shotgun shells oh no i don't i get a little bit more shotguns or some more machine gun i think this is the machine gun ammo Yeah, I think I'm good. He wanted to hit an escape to want to get out of the uh, menu, but... Um, oh, there we go. It dropped it. There. Oh, that's blaster ammo. So it just drops it there, and you've got to pick it up. Interesting. Okay, we can come back for that, though. Um, let's use our blaster a little bit, then. Unless this is the very end. Oh, no, it's not. 
Oh, that guy, shit. Yeah, well, we need to get rid of that guy right there. He shoots stuff at us. This is the thing that I was never really good at in Doom is like timing it and moving so that you avoid this stuff. Wow, that didn't work very well for me. I wish I could get some healing potions. Or buy some healing potions off of him because yeah, I'm not doing very well. Are you did I get everybody okay? All right, nope, nope, nope. Or oh, you, yeah, there we go. Can I get him right around? Oh, shoot. They have a little bit of an explosive to them, it looks like. I got him. I, at least at that time I did. Can I get over there? And, there we go. We're doing some damage here in the corner. Got it. Kind of got him stuck there on the corner. Oh, I got hit. There we go. What is that? Thorns mode. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I am in dire shape here. Oh, we got him. Sweet. Looks like I like the thorns mode. That was definitely useful and kind of neat. This looks like the boss here and I'm not going to be able to beat the, or the end. Oh, it's just the end of the level. Okay, we made it. It looks like, wow. One of four secrets, that's it. You found that the gloomy maze left behind uh, was part of the castle standing on a rocky island in the middle of lava rivers. The only way from the island is a dilapidated bridge nearly near, niz, visibly nearby. Your further plans... I wish I could read here. Your further path lies there. You discover the knowledge of the war between the Lords of Hell, but you refuse to accept it. There we go. Look at that. We're already up to level three, and I think we're going to end the episode there. Uh, there is definitely a lot more to look in on this game, and I would love to do some more on it. Let me know what you think in the description. Um, did you play any of the old... Um, First person shooters out of the 90s, Duke Nukem, Doom, uh, Ultimate Doom, those side of games. He uh, there's some other Hexen and there's some other ones. But did you play any of these? And were you any good at them? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.